Howdy, Tumbleweed here. So what is this inner cowboy thing? Well, first off, my apologies to true cowboys, as Tumbleweed will be talking about the romanticized version here, more like gunslingers than cowboys. In my own case, the pics to the right of the book covers are me growing up with my imagination run amok over bringing justice to the Old West. In the top pick, I'm taming the West with my cousin Steve and Hank down in Alice, Texas. I was a swaggering dime store gunslinger the likes of Tom Mix and Roy Rogers. Oh, and there were the Annie Oakleys and Dale Evans out there for the girls. Those cap guns might as well have been the real thing. Of course, I preferred firing off double caps. In any case, channeling our inner cowboy begins young. Seems our nation's deep history of Western expansion with heavy influence from cowboys has hardwired the concept into our nation's DNA. Americans couldn't get away from it, even if they tried. And when you're looking at the marketing research and you see Western-themed products continuing to profit and proliferate, it all does start to add up. The Old West calls us to something greater than ourselves. My cousin, the famed poet, novelist, and suffragette, Mary Maud Dunn-Wright, also known as Lilith Lorraine, in writing the preface to her father, Red John Dunn's biography back in 1932, posed the question, not in the spirit of judging their actions by artificial standards, which in their day had no existence, but by asking ourselves, if we were in their places, should we have acquitted ourselves as well? And by putting to ourselves the still more potent question, how well would we have kept the birthright that they have given us? And how well would we have safeguarded the liberties that they purchased through untold privations? How courageously are we meeting the problems that confront us today? In short, when we stand before the tribune of remote posterity, to whom shall the laurel be awarded? Wow, these are the thoughts that intrigue, haunt, and dominate the minds of many of today's Americans. How might we have behaved? Does it make us uncomfortable? Does it challenge our inner cowboy? Full stop. Western novels allow us to respond vicariously, thus feeding our voracious appetites for the freedoms and adventures embodied in the Old West. For example, the television miniseries has gripped American consumers. The likes of Hell on Wheels and Lonesome Dove, Longmire, Justified, Deadwood, and Yellowstone have graced television since the turn of the century and appeal to an ever broader audience demographic. Critics, well, they often wonder as the incredible durability of the Western. It's at least partly because, well, Westerns dish up thrills, action, and adventure in ways that certainly entertain while tapping into America's pioneer myths. Westerns have also been remarkably good at reflecting the times in which they were placed. There's literally no other genre that reflects their era as well for the determination, courage, passion, and adventure in which they are set. Westerns are effectively a magnifying glass on America's heritage. They trace our nation's shifting self-image from economic booms and to crashes, morality to depravity, faith to hopelessness, but invariably rooted in unbridled freedom and rugged individualism. Shucks, you know it's a shame that today's violent video games can't mix in the moral plot lines embedded in a Western shoot 'em up Maybe we need cap guns after all. Just, just saying. Thus far, y'all have been treated to three tumbleweed sagas featuring Texas Ranger Luke Dunn, Noasis Justice, Noasis Reprise, and Noasis Deceit. A fourth saga, Noasis Blood, will be released in April, and more are coming. I do urge you to experience Nicholas Dunn, The Making of a Texas Legend, the recently released biography I've written of the life of my great-great-grandfather, a true Texan who immigrated from Ireland and helped tame the Noasis Strip. And great news! The narrations of Noasis Deceit, the Nicholas Dunn biography, and Noasis Blood are underway. Stay tuned for audio release dates in April. My books from Defiance Press and Publishing are available online in print, audio, or ebook from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and directly from DefiancePress.com. 
As spring approaches, do curl up on a comfy bench under a shady tree and let your imagination come alive with my books. Enjoy a cup of coffee or even sip a glass of wine or maybe something more potent. Get inspired. Channel your inner cowboy or cowgirl. And especially, you all do take care.